Crooks continue to target Davis Island's homes to make some quick cash. Eight on your side, investigative reporter Shannon Benkin first told you about a new mom shocked to find a strange family living in her house. They thought they had rented a vacation home, but now another man has found his home listed on a rental as a rental on Craigslist, and that's when he knew he'd better call Beckon. And Shannon joins us now to talk a little bit about this. This is so bizarre that people think they can get away with this. It's really bizarre, Keith. And he reported this fake listing to Craigslist, but nothing happened when he did that. In fact, pictures from inside his home appear in two different ads. Text from him. Imagine Dan Schlater's shock when he saw me on TV knocking on his front door to warn him that his house is listed for rent on Craigslist. He's probably doing this statewide, nationwide. Dan is the latest victim of a scheme targeting several Tampa Bay area neighborhoods, including Davis Islands. Crooks list houses they don't own as vacation rentals. Dan's house was listed twice for 200 bucks a night. It's kind of strange that somebody would have the audacity to, to do that. And there are definitely legit ones. Leslie Thornton here called too. me when a family walked right into her living room with suitcases. Craigslist removed her listing, but not Dan's. So he decided to call the scammer and express interest in renting his own home. I represented it that, you know, everything was above board. I even asked if this is a scam. He said no. The crook sent this rental agreement and even went to the trouble to look up the former owner in public records and pretend to be him. When Dan called back, I was by his side. It's, you can't talk. You can only do it through text. But before he could hand right. the phone to me, the crook hung up. So I sent Craigslist an email and flagged the phony listings. Later, I left the crook a message. I'm calling to let you know that we are on to your scam on Craigslist. And Dan worries for Maybe homeowners, but also for the people who respond to these fake ads. They're putting a lot of their funds in this for a vacation, and they're going to show up. They're getting scammed. This guy's making money. He's using my property. You know, he's baiting and switching them. It's just, it's wrong. Okay. The good news, one of the ads for Dan's home has already been taken down this afternoon, and we will keep reminding Craigslist until the other ad is removed, too. I'm Shannon Bacon, 8 on your side.